A strained Indo-Chinese relationship is witnessing a further plunge, courtesy of China's repeated illegal and provocative campaigns to alter the status quo along the line of actual control, the de facto border between the two nuclear-armed countries. Comically, but equally concerning, China has now staked claims on parts of India's northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh, arguing that these locations were part of Greater Tibet. A desperate Beijing unilaterally renamed as many as 11 Indian locations, which included names of mountain peaks, rivers, and residential areas. This is not the first time that Beijing has employed such tactics. Previously, in 2017 and 2021, China's civil affairs ministry had renamed other Indian locations, triggering another political confrontation. New Delhi called out China's expansionist plans then, and New Delhi is calling out China's expansionist plans now. ये पहली बार नहीं है कि चाइना इस तरह के कोई अटेम्प्ट कर रहा है और हमने उसको खंडन किया था ऐसे अटेम्प्ट्स का आपने जिक्र किया है अरुणाचल प्रदेश के बारे में देखिए उसमें भी हमने कहा था कि अरुणाचल प्रदेश हमारे अभिन्न अंग है भारत का और ये जो अपने नाम लगाना या फिर अपने इन्वेंटेड नेम्स हमने जो कहा था उससे जो सिचुएशन है ग्राउंड में वो नहीं बदल सकता और रियलिटी नहीं बदल सकती है China is aggressively trying to increase its influence in the Indo-Pacific region, which is home to nearly 65% of the world's population. According to the Observer Research Foundation ORF, China's rise as an economic and military powerhouse has resulted in a tectonic shift in the power balance. ORF research indicates that managing the rise of a tactfully aggressive China will be critical for the safety, security, and stability of the Indo-Pacific. And while the majority of the countries in the Indo-Pacific region are now facing territorial conflicts with China, they find India, Australia, and Japan as emerging power centers who can both challenge and check China's ambitious and expansionist plans. This region is under threat, which is China's domination. Uh, well, uh, we compare Asia Pacific and Indo Pacific. Uh, we can find one feature. Indo Pacific includes uh, all countries which have the problem uh, with China, especially the border problem. So that's why Indo Pacific is more easier to identify how to deal with China. Indeed, Quad is a group of the great powers in the Indo Pacific, except China. So that's why Indo-Pacific and Quad is one set. So uh, to deal with China, this concept is needed. China's expansionist agenda was established in 2013 by President Xi Jinping with the launch of the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. To date, 147 countries have signed on to BRI projects or indicated an interest in doing so. However, many of these countries are now concerned that China is using BRI funds to gain influence and control, and that they are falling into a debt trap. Beijing's expansionism is not only a threat to its neighbors, but the entire Indo-Pacific region and other countries. India's efforts to contain China will not only benefit India and her citizens, but the broader Indo-Pacific region as well.